Hello guys, in this video, I'd like to share with you how to view logs of applications deployed on Heroku in Heroku Kamala Interface or Heroku CLI. I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. Firstly, let's understand some basics about logging in Heroku. You know, logs of a deployed app are aggregated from the output streams of all of its running processes. And Logplex is a Heroku service that routes log streams from different sources to a single channel, such as in the Heroku Kamala interface. And there are several types of logs, uh, runtime logs, including app logs, system logs, API logs, and add-on logs, and build logs uh, generated when the app is being built and deployed. And by default, uh, Logplex retains the most recent 1,500 lines of uh, consolidated logs and logs are not stored uh, permanently. They expire after one week, so you should use a log add-on for persistent logs. And for the log retrieval via Heroku CRI, you can view most recent logs, uh, view real-time tail of logs, and future logs, uh, such as fetch logs with a certain source. And the log format in Heroku is uh, timestamp, and then source, and then dyno name, and then the log message. Now, open a new command prompt on Windows or a terminal on Mac or Linux and type the command Heroku login I to sign in my Heroku account in Heroku Kamala interface and enter the password. Okay, I have logged in as a uh, uh, user in my Heroku Kamala interface and tie Heroku apps to view the deployed apps on my Heroku account. You see, I have some apps here. And let me see the status of the app. Show me front end. Heroku PS A and app name. Show me front end. And you see, this application is running. Uh, as a web application you see here and this is uh, what it looks like in browser here uh, shopme1.com uh, it is the shopping website and now let me see the most recent logs of uh, this app so I can type Heroku logs and then the app name uh, that's a shopme front end And you see, it uh, lists the most uh, recent 100 uh, lines of logs uh, from all sources uh, running uh, the application. You see here, you can see the timestamp here, timestamp, and then the source and uh, dyno name and the log message. You see. If you see another source Heroku and another dyno name uh, router web.1 is also a dyno name. So this uh, commands uh, Heroku log. You can, you can view the most recent 100 uh, lines of uh, logs. And I can also specify exactly the number of lines of logs I want to see uh, like this. Heroku logs and then the app name and then use the dust and flag and then the number of lines. Uh, for example, I want to see the just uh, 10 lines of uh, most recent logs. So tie this command with the flag dust and and 10. And you see it uh, shows the most recent logs, 10 most recent logs, 10 lines of logs. You see here. And the maximum number is 1,500. Now I want to list the most uh, recent uh, 50 lines of blocks uh, for this app, Shop Me Front End. And you see. And now I want to filter the logs uh, based on dyno name. You see there are some dyno names, web.1 router here now. I want to view the logs uh, from the Heroku router. I know, okay. So I can type this command Heroku logs app name shop me from 
10 and then shots and then sorry and I know I know name router and you see it lists only the logs uh, from the uh, dyno router which is the uh, system logs of Heroku platform you see here and I want to filter the dyno is web.1 and you see so it's very convenient to filter out the logs based on the dyno name and I can also uh, filter the logs uh, based on uh, source uh, for example I want to view the uh, system logs so I can specify the source is uh, Heroku to view the system logs of the app Shopee frontend and you see it shows only uh, system logs in the output here which is a uh, dyno name router and tie this command to filter the logs uh, by the source is an app to see only the app logs and you see and you can also combine with the and flag here to show the most uh, recent number of log lines uh, for example five uh, last lines of logs for the app logs and you see and you can also combine source and uh, I know uh, for example I want to filter the logs uh, apps uh, logs and uh, I know is API to view the API logs of the application and you see this is the API log here and to view the logs of the application in real time you can type this command Heroku logs to dash is tell and then the app name shop me uh, from 10 to view the logs in your real time okay you see now let me uh, switch to the browser here to arrange the two windows side by side like this okay you see to view the logs in the real time side by side two windows and I click a category in the website here uh, for example this one and you see in the command line interface uh, it shows the logs in real time and you see uh, the app logs here and also the uh, system logs for Heroku router here and to stop the uh, logs uh, in real time you press uh, ctrl c in the command line to terminate okay and you can also uh, filter out the real time logs uh, for example I just want to view uh, system logs uh, in real time so I can type this command Heroku logs tell uh, app name and then specify the source uh, is uh, Heroku to view only the system logs in real time okay now let me click uh, product uh, name uh, on the website here and you see in the command line it uh, shows only system logs from the Heroku router you see so it's very uh, easy and convenient using uh, logging facility in Heroku right and press ctrl c to terminate the real-time log press ctrl c here okay now I'd like to sum up the main commands uh, which you can use to view logs of applications uh, deployed on Heroku to view 100 lines of most recent logs use Heroku logs command and you can specify the number of lines uh, to be rechipped using the dust and flag and note that the maximum number of lines is 1500 and to view the real-time logs use the command Heroku logs to dash 
tell Oracle logs that T and to filter the logs, you can filter logs uh, from a certain dyno using the flag uh, dyno and then the dyno name. And you can also view logs from a certain source, uh, such as uh, app logs using the flag uh, source like this. And you can also view logs from a certain source and dyno using the combination of two flags, uh, source and dyno. And you can also filter real-time logs uh, by combining the source flag and the tail flag here. And that's how to view logs of applications deployed on Heroku in Heroku Kumla interface or Heroku CRI. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.